Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're researching the restaurant industry or any subsector of that industry, including casual dining, fast food, uh, takeaway, delivery, things like that, you'll definitely want to look at Passport. Passport's a database that contains industry and market research information. It's great for understanding consumer trends, what's driving the market, it'll forecast where the market's going, and provide all kinds of analysis and statistics. This, data, this video shows you how to use that database, so here you go. So this is the Passport homepage you see once you log into Passport. Now it does have a search box up here and you're welcome to go up here and type in restaurants or Applebee's or brand names or things like that. But I actually prefer to browse Passport more, more so than search it. And the reason is because uh, sometimes it, it contains information that I might have not otherwise found by searching because they call things differently, things like that. So if I'm doing an, uh, something like restaurants, I wanna go under industries and you'll see there's all these industry categories here, but if we go over, there's actually one for service for consumer food service. So that's where I'm gonna go right there and just click on consumer food service. This will take us to the consumer food service homepage, if you will, for lack of a better, better word for that. And typically what I do is I go under this search tree thing. This allows you to kind of drill down and you can just select any one of these you want to. I'm just gonna click on consumer food service and then click go. Once you select something that it changes from gray to blue, so we can click go there. And this takes us to this category tree where then we can choose other things we're interested in. So I'm gonna go under consumer food service by type. And you see there's stuff for chain consumer food service. If you want to, you can click on the little eye there to go to definition of what that is, uh, things like that. Um, I'm going to also do independent food service. I'm gonna do full service restaurants, fast food, and I'm gonna do pizza as well. You can also see there's information for consumer food service by location. So we dropped that uh, menu down there. You can see there's things like standalone through through retail, through leisure. And once again, you can actually click on, you know, the, the definition uh, there as well. Okay. Uh, once you're satisfied what, what's over here in your categories, if you scroll down, you can click on now choose geographies. And so you can see uh, one of the cool things about Passport is that there are, there's information reports for almost you know most of the major markets in the world so some great stuff you can find in here I want to be concerned primarily with uh, the US for my example but I also when I'm looking at a country I also like to click world because sometimes you'll find within passport there'll be some very useful global briefings uh, if you just choose USA you might not necessarily find the global briefings uh, in there so it's a good way to kind of get make sure you get all the information that's relevant to what you're looking at once you're satisfied with your, your geographies, your categories, I, I typically go down and click Run Search. And this will give you a list of search results uh, on the next page here. Okay, you can do a couple different things. You can click on Statistics, which will give you statistical information of what you found. Um, I typically like to go in and actually kind of browse to see what I found first. So here, we've, here we find some useful reports for consumer food service in the U.S. That looks pretty awesome. If we click on that, it's an industry overview there. And this will give us things like uh, um, updated uh, last November, so pretty recent. And you can kind of see it gives you executive summary, key trend developments, the operating environment, market data, things like that. So all kinds of information here. Uh, in addition to the textual uh, uh, paragraph information here, you also have the, uh, the market data, which will give us um, all kinds of useful uh, uh, tables and things like that as well. Okay, If we go back to our result list, you can also um, play around with the limiters over here, or the filters over here on the left hand side. So if I just want like a chain consumer food service, so I want information pertaining to things like Applebee's and Chili's and those big typical chains you find near uh, in, in towns and your malls and that kind of stuff. So here we have like um, the best look back the years of best food service insights. Uh, we see the future develop you know markets that kind of stuff. Uh, five key strategies from the 2014 Fast Casual Executive Summit. That looks pretty good. And you see this is an opinion, so this looks like it comes from one of the analysts here at Passport. And you can get good information that way. So, so lots of ways to kind of limit uh, things down. Um, here they say some of the key trends are mobile, uh, menu trends are evolving, beverages, differentiate restaurants, more service, service channels, market to millennials or market away from them. Either way, do it right. That's pretty interesting there. So lots of lots of different information you can find in here. If we go back to our result list here, uh, one thing I like to, to point out is if you go under, um, I'm going to get rid of our uh, remove all filters here. 
And if you go under uh, the types of analysis, I'm gonna click on uh, country reports. You can see there's also company profiles in here. Country, prof country reports will give us these typical, we already looked at consumer food service. You see there's one for full service restaurants as well as fast food. Um, and these get a little more, a little bit more granular. The, the, the category briefing uh, are a little bit more granular than the industry overviews and see they cover headlines, trends, competitive landscape, prospects in the market, uh, things like that. And they also give a good deal of, of category level data, uh, things like that. So in addition to the types of restaurants, they'll give, um, if we scroll way down here, excuse me for scrolling, um, lots of information and we go down here here's some of the major uh, brand shares and things like that company shares for some of those some of those restaurants there once again we'll go back to our result list and then we can click uh, remove all filters here and likewise if you wanted to you can go down and say I only want stuff that that is actually shown in the past year I don't want stuff that's more than a year old let's just do this stuff from last year to give us Really good information to, to find um, to find that sort of sort of uh, recent information about about our typical um, our, our our market and industry things like that. So so that's how you use Passport to find information that you need. Great resource there. Um, you might also go up here and say search for a company if you wish. You could search for Panera, and so there's like Panera Bread Company, and search that way. And you can see um, this will bring up articles that mention Panera Bread. Um, things like that. So, um, so you know, it's an okay way to search. I actually just prefer the, to going under the, the industries and browsing to the food service market or industry there. So, once again, this is Passport. Great, great database for looking at um, uh, consumer trends, market research, uh, industry statistics for a variety of consumer markets, including the, the restaurant, casual dining, fast food uh, market. So, there you go. Hope this video helped you understand how to use Passport. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We've got to help any way I can. Take care and have a great day.